Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I want to kind of show you a, what I'm hoping is going to be a hack to keep this diesel heater running without having to bring another external 12 volt battery. I don't know if you folks happen to have seen my video on my main channel where I showed my micro camper rooftop tra trailer tent that I built that didn't really pan out anyway, but I was showing you that I could not keep my diesel heater running off of this power station. Most of these power stations have a cigarette style output that's rated at 10 amps. And these diesel heaters, this is a five to eight kilowatt diesel heater, takes about 130, 134 watts at startup to get that glow plug to get hot. And then it'll actually slowly decrease to anywhere from 10 to 25 watts while it's running. So the only problem that I have is actually getting th these power stations to start these heaters. A 12 volt standalone battery did it just fine, but I didn't want to have to bring one of those with me along with a power station. So thanks to an awesome viewer, I'm not going to say his full name because I don't know if he wants to be uh, accredited with this, but we'll just call him Daniel. Um, and I didn't even think about this because I use these in my truck camper, but he said, why not just get one of those LED drivers and convert AC to DC to power this off of the inverter in this. So that's what I did. I went and bought this 150 watt it's an LED driver. It's going to convert AC to DC. Now it is going to lose some efficiency, of course, because running an inverter is going to cause efficiency loss, but it's going to eliminate me having to carry another battery, hopefully. So what I did was I took the cord that came with this heater and I cut it because I need this plug right here that goes into the front of the heater and I installed some Anderson connectors. So I cut this cord and then on the LED driver itself, I just installed another set of Anderson connectors that are gonna plug in just like this. So, I haven't tried this yet. You folks are gonna be the first to witness to see if this works, but let me get this cord plugged into the front of the unit. Let me get my LED driver plugged in. And then we're gonna plug this into the inverter on this power station. Everything's nice and tight, and I'm not gonna run this very long. I'm in the garage, but I have the exhaust pointing out. But I just wanna see if this setup here will start this diesel heater again, to eliminate me having to carry a second battery. So, let's get this power station cut on. Start okay, it is starting. I'm gonna keep an eye on these watts. You probably can't see it, but we're at, we're at 50 watts now. I think we're close to 100, yep, 113 watts. And this worked off of the cigarette plug right up until it got to around 130 watts, which, oh, we just had 215 watts. No wonder that cigarette style was not working. Okay, we kind of settled back down to 112 watts. I'm thinking it was just that initial surge of over 200 watts for a split second that was that was causing this uh, this power station to, to trip itself out off of that plug. Yeah, we're at 213 watts right now. But the good news is, is that we have not shut down yet. So hopefully here in a few seconds, you'll be able to hear the diesel heater start clicking Get that fuel pump going. There we go. And this is about where I was, I was getting tripped off off of this uh, cigarette plug. So yeah, that was pulling over 200 watts. It's going back down. It's really fluctuating quite a bit. Over 200, down to 120 watts. Okay, still looking good. We're still running. 204 watts. I'm surprised it gets up that high for a brief you know, only split seconds, but we're at 200, 204 watts right now. That takes way more power than I realized. I never saw how many watts it used because it kept tripping itself off. So I never really knew how high it got. 235 watts, 245 watts. So here's the problem, folks. This is a 150 watt LED driver. So this still is not gonna work because I did not have any idea that that little diesel heater pulled that amount of watts at startup. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I'm going to go see if I can find a larger LED driver because this isn't gonna work either. I had high hopes, it was doing good. I'm very, very surprised that that heater pulls that much wattage at startup. So. Round two, let's go find another one of these to see if it's gonna work, because I think it will if I can get a big enough driver uh, to convert AC to DC to power that thing. So, ah, let's do it. Day two, guys, so thank goodness for Amazon because this just got dropped off. This is a 250 watt 
LED driver. So the first one was 150 watt. I did the same thing. I just put some Anderson connections on the leads of this driver. We're gonna connect it again to this diesel heater. And we're gonna give this one more shot. Get my inverter cut on. All right, let's monitor this wattage. Okay, 110 watts. There we go, there's over 200 watts. Over 200 again. Wow, 221 watts. I just saw for a brief second. Fuel pumping starting to click. Over 200 watts. So far, so good. 250 watts, actually 248 watts. We are going still. This is set again, just a little bit above the middle setting on this thing. So it's not all the way up to max either. 240 watts. So I'm interested to see what this thing's going to drop down to once it starts getting going and heated up. Because then it shouldn't pull hardly any watts. I'm hoping maybe 20. We are putting out heat. And we're kind of still hovering around the 40 watt range. So I need to knock on wood, I guess. But so far, this 250 watt driver is actually working. And I haven't seen it go above 40 watts since it really started kicking on and turning. And I don't know if you guys will be able to make this out, but at running 35-ish watts, this power station will power that diesel heater for 22 and a half hours. So that, this will work well for over the night, and then I can recharge it if I'm out on a two-day trip. But we're staying at over 20 hours worth of runtime if this was the only thing I would be using this Blue Eddy for. I will be hooking up some LED lights and some charging phones and stuff like that, but that's not going to make a huge difference. So, yeah, over 20 hours at this current setting. Guys, I think I might be able to call this and say it's going to work. I am going to crank this thing up to full max to see what that does to this. Okay, it's at full heat now. And we're up to 50 watts. 56 watts haven't reached 60 watts yet and I think we're I don't think we're going to and this is going to give me 15 16 and a half hours of runtime off of this power station at full heat which I would never put it on full heat it would literally cook me out of my tent so I'm not even worried about that yeah that's some that's some hot air well, I'm gonna let this heater run for about 30 minutes because I've had to stop and restart this heater about four times doing this test and that's not really good for them. When you do cut these heaters off, you do not want to disconnect it from the power source because you want it to slowly cool itself down so it burns off all of that nasty soot and stuff inside. Otherwise, you can clog up these diesel heaters and then it's a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and call it, gang. I think that this is gonna work. I'm hoping that this doesn't mean I have to bring another 12 volt battery with me I probably will the first time just in case something happens with this setup, but this is a lot easier to carry around than a, than a 12 volt LiPo 4 battery. And you can even strap this to the top. You can do whatever. This is IP67 water rated. So as long as your connection is waterproof, you'll be okay having this outside. So yeah, gang, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for uh, Daniel for reminding me about these things. I do appreciate it because it is going to be a lot better option for me taking this heater around and not lugging around a 20 pound battery so i will leave a link for this driver down in the description below the 250 watt version uh, i paid for this they're not this company i don't even know who it is but i paid for this myself but i will leave a link for it down below so take care gang uh i'm gonna call this a win